previously on building Benny's movie park. Right here, I will add like a nice edge. There you go. That has a very nice effect. There we have the first tower. Kind of randomly, I am adding these wooden logs. Then I'm going to add some windows just like this around this machine as well. I think that will improve it just a tad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. Uh, today we are going to hopefully finish the entrance, that's the idea. I could keep on going about what we're gonna do today, but we may as well just get straight into it. First, let's see what shall we do. I think it would be a pretty cool idea to put another building right here. A bit smaller, a bit less tall, and of course in a completely different style. Like I explained in the previous episode, these are going to be a bunch of different themes merged into one entrance. I feel like this building should be a bit more ancient, like uh, ancient architecture. Let's go and connect these using these uh, thicker poles again. And you can probably already tell these are going to be arches. Let's go and use these tiny bricks kind of things to uh, make those arches. This shouldn't be too difficult. And there you go. That looks pretty, pretty clean. Maybe behind this we can put uh, wooden doors. And then it's time to add a bunch of detail. How exactly and what exactly, I'm not so sure yet. Maybe stuff like this could be nice. These Roman pieces also exactly fit the vibe I'm looking for, so we have to use those. Oh, this looks good. And maybe we can also add some of these to make a nice edge. We love edges. This is just, once again, a bunch of random details, I hope. Oh yes, that does look nice. And maybe if the item limit allows it, we can even put a little fence in front of this. And then a horizontal one all over this side. And this we can simply make uh, gray metal or something. I feel like that's just the best option. There you go. Yeah, that does look very nice. This kind of gives me uh, Italian vibes. And on top of this, the fence should probably look just a tad different. Pretty good so far. Then on top of this, I'm going to add some industrial stuff. Some ventilation seems in order. At the end of the day, this is still a functional theme park. We need to add those elements as well. And some more crates because I feel like that fits this theme very, very nicely. And then with that, this building is pretty much done. I guess the side is going to be covered by something else anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. In between these two towers, I'm going to make another one of these sort of bridges to, uh, well, seal it off so you can't look through these two towers or in between these two towers, I should say. Basically, just like uh, some sort of wall. We probably want to add some pipes as well. See, so now if you look in between there, you see that looks a lot better than just uh, blank space, if you ask me. So yeah, let's continue. Right here, I'm going to make this a bit higher. So this really conceals this tiny area. And then on there, we can put some palm trees maybe. I feel like that fits this building a little bit. See, just like that. That is what I'm talking about. And let's go ahead and fill that up with rocks, ladies and gentlemen. Such variety in this video already. In these rocks, the same as Gold Rush, we are going to add some variety in color. Some of them are going to be a bit more greenish. This just makes it look more natural, which is something I really need in this park. And then around this house, I'm going to add a layer of sand on top of these rocks to kind of merge that into this landscape. I have no idea if that's going to look good at all, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Look, and then I'll paint on top of these in the same sort of color like that. Maybe one tint darker since sand is pretty bright. We can add some of these smaller rocks as well, just like that. I think that looks pretty good. And then what if on the sides of the entrance right here, we add just a tiny bit of water, except you can't put it on the boundaries. That really sucks. Mm, I mean, it could work. Maybe. Unless it goes all around, kind of like this, as if this is uh, some sort of bridge. I mean, that looks kind of interesting, that is for sure. Right, and then on the edges here, we can use these very low fences to kind of indicate the walking area. Same goes on this side. We just have to make sure right here, there's a tiny little bridge over the water, like so. Otherwise, it won't really make sense. <laughs> and the barrels I put here should now be floating, of course, so let's kind of make those uh, look like they're floating. I almost forgot I wanted to add some lily pads right there. So cute. And right here, we can put a cactus because this is sand. Sand equals cactus. That's how it works. And then some very small ones right here. Gorgeous. That looks fantastic. This is the fun part. Let me add some palm trees right here. Probably one of my favorite trees in this game. It just looks very nice. Then we also have these smaller ones that I can put right below. Then for the green color, I want to have some variety in that. Some of them have to be a bit darker. For example, like that. That's pretty nice. And maybe somewhere in this corner, we can also fit a water tower. Let's see, maybe back here. Or just right here, kind of in between the trees, like so. Color is hideous though. Let's make it bright. 
brown. Then I'm gonna add one last tiny tank right here. And once again, I'm adding some details on that to make sure it looks very, uh, you know, authentic. One of these lights is going to be red, the other one is gonna be green, and the red one can maybe be pulsing like this. I think that's pretty cool. And right next to that, we may as well put some barrels to really, really, really spice it up. As you can see, that looks very nice. A pretty big thing I want to add is an image panel right here because I have prepared something for you guys. Let's see your decals. That looks beautiful. Now this I want to hang up somewhere. It could be bigger, but I feel like it shouldn't be too big as it will just you know, take up too much space. Let's see what it looks like if we put it right there. That actually may be a bit too small. There's also this one. That's a lot, yeah, that's better for sure. However, maybe it should be a bit higher up. Unfortunately, we won't see the top of these towers, but I guess that's fine. This right here wasn't my initial idea, but looking at it, I feel like we do need like a board it's sort of placed on. Otherwise there's floating text in the sky and that just doesn't sit well with me. So I guess we'll just have to make a nice wooden plate like this. Then on the corners, let's add some more of these tiny screws very nice and since under there it's a bit dark i'm putting this spotlight right here which is going to be shining onto oh look at that and then maybe the same thing on the other side right here we can also add two different colors like one side orange the other side blue like this Ooh. then finally we need the wooden bars that hold this whole thing up just like so, if we add a second layer of wood underneath, like so, on that we can put like something like, um, welcome or good to see you or anything like that. We will need to make some stickers for that, so let's hop on Photoshop and get started. Well, let's see, we are going to need a welcome right here. And let's make that the same yellow color I've been using this whole time. Then add a nice highlight on top there and a little drop shadow below it. Ooh, look at that. Then for some other languages, let's do Dutch because uh, I'm Dutch. Welcome. And since Spanish is the most spoken language on earth, let's do that as well. There you go. Then finally, I also thought it would be nice to add some of these symbols to like put all over the place and one of these as well. I mean, this stuff is always useful to have. I also want one of these and then I think we pretty much have everything we need. Okay, now back in Roblox, as you can see, I put down these image signs already. Change into my decals. Let's see. Welcome. Enable transparency. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's find the other ones as well. There you go. That is very nice. I love that. Signs overall just really give the thing life. Otherwise, it seems a bit dead, a bit, you know, abandoned. There you go. That is so great. I love that. Dude, we also have this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I guess we can just sort of spread those around the park uh, as soon as we continue. Now, a fun little detail I do want to add right here, which I came up with just now, is a, a staff only driveway into the park. Basically the staff entrance, if you will. In here, I'm gonna build a tiny wall and then this is just gonna be uh, closed from the top. Then right here, I can put a door like that with above it, ladies and gentlemen, a sign saying staff only. It is beautiful. Never mind, the photo hasn't loaded yet. Very sad. I guess we'll finish that later then. Um, then let's see, what shall we do? Let's go and see what we're gonna put on the right side. How about we do something incredibly modern and just put like a like a skyscraper here? Wouldn't that just be freaking perfect? I mean, of course it is. Also means we need a lot of glass. Now let's see. First, we need to set the transparency. I'm thinking something very low, like 25 or even lower. Okay, and then let's go all the way up here. I feel like something like this is good. So it's nice and symmetrical. Now I would say this is light gray, but maybe that's a bit too boring. Let's make it a bit bluish. And then for all these windows, I guess we're just going to need a lot. And I mean a lot of these poles all the way up like that. And then I guess we can do something like this for the actual windows. Uh, it seems a bit boring, but I guess we'll see. What if we add these thinner ones in between the windows like this? Then that same thing I'm gonna have to do on every side. That is gonna be a pain. So I will skip that for you guys. I'll see you in three, two, one. And there you go. Then we need a roof. So let's put a very simple roof on top of this. Most of all, those ventilation thingies. Let's go and put four of these round circles on top. Those are going to be the actual ventilation uh, th 
thingies. I don't know what it's called. I guess we can just combine a few props and that sort of looks like it. it's good enough. We can do something like this. Dude, look at that. That is sick. Then all we need is some pipes attached to those and then we should be all set. Okay, well then I, ooh, I like the way that looks. Gives it some contrast since the other side is pretty old. Then right here, I just need to fill up this area again. A nice concrete border, I like to call it. Maybe it would be cool if there's like a road here. I know a road makes no sense, but just wait for it. Paint this concrete, then add some of these stripes on the road like this. And then I'm going to add some cars. Look, I'll literally just grab this one and put it right on there like that. I love it, dude. I love it. Ooh, and right here, there's maybe like a crashed one sort of sitting in the rocks here like this. Yes. Now let's see what color shall we make these? One of them should be maybe green. No, 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 no. Let's do blue instead. Yes. We can add some tires as well to sort of stick with that theme. And well, then I think that is pretty much it for the front side of the entrance. Then all we still need for the full entrance is the actual ticket shops where you can get uh, your tickets for the park. Before we do that though, I am in need of a drink. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. I'll start by making a very, very simple structure, which I will then later duplicate to uh, finish the whole row. Something nice and cozy like this should be pretty good. Again, this is going to be dark green metal. It's gonna look very nice. And then for a nice secondary color, maybe gold would look nice. Gold and green just goes together very well, seriously. Then I have to make sure the roof is filled. Okay, now this is for a base uh, pretty good. So let's grab this and copy it a few times around. I think like this. So now we have five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And as you may have guessed, using these, I can make the other little buildings. And then after that, I will connect these to each other using some, uh, some bars, I guess. This is a shitload of work, but it does look pretty nice in the end. I hope. <laughs> so uh, we'll just do it anyway. Almost done. Almost done. And there you go. These are the bases for the... Um What's the word even for that? I don't even know. I really have to learn English, guys. This is pathetic. It's all things and stuff with me. Now, all we have to do is make sure they're connected like this, which shouldn't be too hard. The sides, of course, have to be closed off. So we need to do that with a uh, rock or something. I made a wall here, which should do the trick. We can make that look prettier in just a sec. I guess just like this and then maybe something nice on top. I don't even know anything really. Okay, then this is path, which is gonna go to the middle one. The other ones are not gonna be accessible for NPCs, but they are just going to be there for, you know, the, the looks of it. This park is going to be partly accessible for NPCs, but not entirely because it also kind of puts a limit on things. So I guess that's, that's it. Guys, I really like the way this is looking so far. I'm also going to place down some fences here to kind of separate these lanes from each other. The last one, guys, and then we should be pretty, pretty freaking close. Look at that. That looks very nice. I definitely like the way that looks. And then in here, we're going to put some operators, like the ticket sellers, basically. Then since people will be walking here, we got to make sure to add some trash cans. So let's put some uh, right here. And I like this green color a lot better. There you go. One last little thing, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on this board, I'm going to put an image panel. And in there, I'm going to put, let's see, let's see, let's see, tickets here. Look at that as if it's made for it. Oh, wait, it is. Then let's add some final props on these areas because there's not really anything else we can do with and it. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we still need to do some lighting, but that I'm going to do in the next episode because today we've done quite enough. So far, the entrance is looking absolutely insane. I'm loving the way this is going. In the next episode, we're going to move our way into the park and see what happens there. But for today, this is, uh, this is pretty much it. So if you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single, single, single upload. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park. <laughs>